Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your, it's your brother Josiah. Back again with another video, as usual, giving you other good content. Make sure y'all like, subscribe to the channel. Um, hit that like button so my videos can be recommended on other people's videos so they can like, share, subscribe to too. Also, hit that notification bell so y'all can be notified every time I post a video. Um, right now, what I'm about to do, see in my hand, I'm about to change uh, my sway bar links. These little links right here, little short links, and then my sway bar bushing for right now. Uh, actually, I would have did this video last week, but I ordered it from eBay, and the people sent it. They said they dropped it off, and it never went to my door. I was home. They said they sent it. They didn't. I didn't get it. So I had to order another set from Detroit Axel on eBay, which is a very good company to order from. They give you a 10-year warranty, so... No, I'm not sponsored by them, but they do they do give you a 10-year warranty. So if something do mess up, take this part off right here, send it back, and get you a new part. So let's get right into the video. Okay. The spirit, the spiritual levels, no dancing with devils, no fellow with rebels. I'm digging with shovels, they digging, they digging, they digging real deep. Some humble, they hearken, they listen, they meet. Some praise the most high seven days of the week. Some put in that work and go teach in the streets. I'm just trying to take up the air that we breathe. Some come just to take up the space that we need. The spiritual levels, the spiritual levels, they come in all shapes and the sizes. Okay, my phone died, so I didn't get to do my left side, or I didn't get to show y'all my left side, but I'm gonna show y'all the right side. I had, my phone is at like 80% right now, so I'll be able to make um, a pretty clean video. Uh, it took a damn minute. It probably took like 45 minutes to do it. It's my first time ever doing this, so <sighs> took a minute, but this side is gonna be easy because I already know what to do. Um, on my the OEM one, I mean, not the OEM ones, on the aftermarket ones, the one I get from, got from Detroit Action, they're much easier to put in. The ones that stock with the car are fucking terrible. That's what took me a minute to get them out. But it took literally probably uh, to get the, um, on the left side, to get to get the uh, sway bar uh, bushing in. It took a minute to get that in. You kind of got to keep adjusting, going back and forth. But I'm going to show y'all in the midst of the video. But this was, I mean, putting everything back together, it took about 30 minutes. Uh, like just, just because I'm still new to actually doing the suspension parts. But this side is going to be real easy. It should take me 30 minutes tops to do it. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm doing is getting this top bolt out right here. So we're gonna get that out. I'm trying to get y'all a good angle. Um, I'm gonna put the tools in the beginning of the video. So I'm gonna make an extra one. But right now, all I'm using is a 22 millimeter hex socket just to get the bolt right here loose. But what I do use is a 10 millimeter to get this whole thing off. So I'm gonna try to show y'all. How can I get a better angle? I think like right. So I'm using this right here. I'm sure y'all in the midst of the video. I can't record it because of the angle of the suspension. But this is what I use. I just loosen this bolt right here with the 22 millimeter hex socket. And then I use this for the rest to turn and then hold it with these pliers right here. So I'm holding this end, my bad, so I'm holding, I'm just holding the, um, I'm just going to hold the bolt with this and then turn it with the, um, with the wrench. So here you want to use um, WD-40 off the bat. You want to use WD-40, no ifs, ands, and buts about it. These bolts are pretty tough. They're not going to come off easy. Some of them not going to come off easy. But yeah, use WD-40. Let's get these bolts off. We will need a breaker bar. Right here, breaker bar. No, it's the other way. I gotta turn it to the left. So you want to get it loose with the breaker bar. See how I'm able to turn it. Let's see if you can see it on the camera. But it's easy to turn. Once it gets really easy to turn, where it's turning this uh, washer back here, then that's when you start using the, um, 
See, it's really easy to turn now. And make sure you have some adapters available. Make sure you have an adapter. But I'm gonna speed this video up. I'm not gonna make it too long. It really isn't that hard of a job. If I had a power tool, I do actually, I do have a power tool. So I believe I'm twisting it to the right. So I'm trying to, I'm tightening the bolt, but I'm not tightening the bolt. It's actually getting this bolt right here loose. So now we're gonna take off the heat shield. It's held on by this bolt right here. So now we got two 16 millimeter bolts. Take those off to get to the uh, sway bar bush. It's not too hard to get off. There's some WD-40 between the crack. There you have it. Bolts off. This comes off. Make sure you put it the right way. We got a top end. This one got a shorter end. And then you pull it off like that. And then you still have that piece right here in the back. And it'll pull right down. So you can move it out the way. Okay. So this piece is so bad that I can just pull it right off. Using one hand, I can just pull it off like that. That bad. Other side was actually worse. These as a replacement, there's the, the moves, or let me see. There you go. There are uh, move. I think they're like performance ones. I think you can get them on another site. I got my, I always get my parts from eBay, like as y'all know. These are made in the US and not China, but these are like high quality ones. As far as I know, I always see threads and stuff like that. They say get the move, move this, move that. So these are good quality. It's a little bit different than, it's a little bit different than the one that comes off of it. Slightly different, but they are performance. They are, they will fit. I got them on the other side. So they are different a little bit, but they will hold, they're really tight. So these are a good branding. I got these for like $12 off eBay. So I think normally they go for like 20. I don't know how I mean how much they go for to be honest with you, but I know people pay more than what I paid for them for. So get these right here. Um, you will need some. Where is it at? Some anti-seize lubricant to put right here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's it. Just slide it in there, man. And then I just make sure the crack where the opening was at, I make sure it's facing this side right here. So where that little crack is at, right there. Make sure it's facing the actual wall, pretty much. Damn, I hit my thing. And make sure this is facing to right here. You don't have to, but just for precaution wise. This is the new one. I'm not sure why it has uh, some little a valve in the back or whatever. But I guess, I mean, they're high quality uh, performance. 
pieces. I got them for $24 on eBay. If you go to AutoZone, you can get one, one of these of $46, just for one. I got a whole pair for $22 at Detroit Axle on eBay. Like I said, once again, no, I'm not sponsored by them, but these are a better quality. See how easy, it's gonna be much easier to put this one on. All you do this one do is unscrew this. And make sure you get yours in pairs. Do is unscrew that. This one's screwing the caps. So the old ones, don't worry about if you strip the uh, threads on those, the old ones, you're not gonna use them again. Obviously, they're old anyway. So put those to the side. So all you wanna do here, just make sure this washer is in. It could be on the outside or on the inside, but it don't really matter. As long as that washer is there. And that's pretty much it. Same thing with the top, and we'll be done. And that's the end of the video. Uh, I also got another video coming up. Um, I think I, I believe I found out what's wrong with my gas mileage. I had an actual mechanic, your mechanic, come out and look at it because I did the best I could as in getting the stats and stuff wise, but he really couldn't find nothing. He said I had um, something wrong with my plugs, which I just got some new plugs, OEM. <sighs> and he said it was um, either my O2 sensors or, what was it? Yeah, I think it's just my, yeah, my O2 sensors. That was pretty much it. So I got my O2 sensors coming in on Monday. Uh, I probably won't be able to change them until Sunday. So uh, this is look out for the video on how to change O2 sensors in the Dodge Charger. So look out for that video. And I'm gonna take this off because I don't need it no more. Yeah, make sure y'all look out for that video, man. Make sure y'all also tell me what y'all think about this video. What can I do to improve, whatever. I know I'm kind of in the garage, it's kind of. I have a light on my phone, so hopefully uh, that y'all can see everything that I was doing. Um, it's pretty much, it is tedious because you do have like rusted bolts because these bolts, these parts last for a long time. So you don't plan on taking these off pretty soon. They blast. I mean, it just went out like 145,000, 145K miles is when my suspension started to go out on me. So if you plan on getting the Dodge Charger also, be on the lookout when you hit that 100 and between 140, 150,000 miles, you probably gonna end up replacing the suspension. So my next thing I'm gonna do, I'll, like I say, the O2 sensors, and then next month I'm gonna do the rest of my suspension, which is the lower control arm, uh, the upper control arm, and I might do the rearward uh, lower control arm. I don't think I need to replace it, but I know my lower control arm is really bad. Make sure y'all go watch my video on how to find the clunks and how to fix the clunking sound, or how to find suspension issues. So make sure y'all uh, go look at that video too. This is why I'm changing these. I'm just going little by little right now. I'm not trying to do everything at once. I'm trying to just piece my videos off. 
But uh, if this is really your size, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the video. Also, hit the notification bell so that we know that we're going to be able to do this.